here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Thinking about personal protection and safety, because I, I consider my firearm a piece of safety gear. And I'm kind of the safety guy. I guess I've been that way ever since Boy Scouts and learning how to do first aid and all the rest of that stuff. And so I I think that way, I guess. I think about, okay, what could happen and what can I do to not need my gear? How do I avoid it? How do I escape from it if I'm in the middle of it? And if I can't, what do I have and how do I use it to get myself out of it? And, you know, and that could be having a fire extinguisher. It could be having you know, uh, I don't know, a tent or sleeping bag, or fire starter equipment. In the case of a lot of us, we think about firearms. I was thinking about this and thinking, where do we spend a lot of our time? We spend a lot of our time in our automobiles, our cars and trucks. Some spend a lot of time there. And also, when you are in your car, you are, in a sense, vulnerable Depends on the situation. I mean, look, if you're tooling down the highway, you're probably not very vulnerable. But when you're in traffic or you're in a parking lot or you're in a parking garage or you pulled in somewhere and stopped, you're kind of a sitting duck a lot of places. So I'm going to throw this out and try to get your ideas. What do you do? Do you carry... Do you have a gun in your car? I mean, in my case, I, I carry almost all the time. I, I like to say almost because there may be some times when I can't or don't. But almost all the time I'm carrying. I've got a gun at the 3 o'clock position on my hip, which is quite honestly not a great place to have it if you need to draw while you're driving your car. There are ways to do it. You can train and figure it all out. But it's less than optimal. So as you think about that, how do you carry? I, I know people that have a gun in the pocket of their door. Oh, okay, good, bad idea. Console, center console. Um, I've even seen those uh, magnets that stick under your dash and stick your gun on them. Never used one. It's always concerned me for some reason. I don't know why, but just I look at that and go, ooh, I don't know about that. But if you have experience with it, I'd like to know. I was thinking about an, uh, another option, and it's like a throwback to 25 years ago, whatever. What about a fanny pack that you have on? It's The gun's concealed. If you get stopped or something, you've got a fanny pack on. But if you need it, you can unzip, pull a gun out of a fanny pack, and if somebody's trying to get in your window or holding a gun, you know, in their just outside your door. You can shoot them through the door. You can shoot them through the window. You can do what you got to do. Just thinking about options, and there are a lot of them, and I'm sure a lot of you have thought about it. What do you do? How do you carry your self-defense gun in your car or truck? Or do you do different things with different setups? Our number is 866-TALK-GUN. 